Hey, it's me, Jeremy, and welcome back to Magic Mondays, a place for you to learn some simple magic effects for you to perform for your friends and family. So, if you like magic, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Let's begin. So today I'm going to teach you the 21 card trick, okay? As the name suggests, it uses 21 cards. And in order to perform that, there are many ways to do it. I found the best way to perform that will fool even the best magicians. Don't believe me? Check out this performance. Okay, good. So this is called the 21 card trick. Yes. It uses 21 cards. Okay. okay? So I'm going to deal the cards face up into three rows of seven. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yes. the rest of the cards we don't need, only these okay. cards. Okay. I want you to just think of one card here. Okay, okay? any card, just think. Okay. Don't tell me. Yes. My job is obviously to find it. Okay. But okay. you need to give me some chance. Okay. So you need to tell me which row is it in. Uh, second row, the second, center row. Center yeah, row. Center okay, row. good. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to gather these up like that. Okay. And the idea is very simple. I'm going to give it a few cards. When you see your card again, yeah. you remember it? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to deal the cards out again in the same pattern like that. Okay? Yes. Now, just out of curiosity, has your card appeared yet? No. Yes or no? No, huh? Good. One, two, or three. Which row is it in? One. In row number one. Yeah. Okay, good. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put them together like that. Now, uh, shuffle them again. Okay? Happy with that? Yes. Good. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to look through the cards and I'm going to remove one card. Out of all these 21 cards, you thought of one card, yes. correct? What was the card you thought of? Uh, King of uh, Diamond. King of Diamonds. Yes. Today we are using the Monarchs playing cards. These are high quality custom playing cards made by Theory 11. And if you find them familiar, it is because they are in the famous movies Now You See Me. On to the tutorial. Now before we look at the explanation of this 21 card trick, let me just show you the version that I learned it first, okay? It is a self-working version, which looks like this. It is a little bit boring, which I'll explain to you why, but please bear with me. It is important that you learn this version as well, so that you understand what goes on behind, right? So here we go, a deck of cards, shuffled by an audience, and then 21 cards are taken out. It's being dealt in three rows of seven. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Okay? And then now the audience is asked to think of one card. Any card out of these 21 cards, just think of one card. Say for example, they think of the uh, six of hearts, right? So what will happen is this, the cards are being squared, and then the cards are being placed together like this. Cards are taken and dealt. Again, from left to right, like so. The magician then asks the audience again, where, which row is your card? They will say it's the third row. Remember, the selected card was the six of hearts. Cards are being squared again. And it's all, it, the, the, the pile, the, the row that the card ends up is always on top. Okay? And then the cards are dealt again. Right? They'll ask which row is it in. This time the audience will say it's the second row, the center row. Right? Again, all the cards are squared and put together. Remember, it's on top. And one last time, the magician will ask the audience where is the card. In this case, they will say it's the first row. And then from here, the magician already knows that their card is, of course, the Six of Hearts. Okay? So, this was done via a traditional method, almost a self-working method. Right? What I'm going to teach you now is a pro version that will even fool magicians. I'm not kidding. The first time I saw it, I was honestly quite shocked. <laughs> So now let's go to the explanation of the pro version. So before learning the pro version, there are two things that you need to know. Number one, a pinky break. 
okay? If you have watched my card magic workshop, you'll know how to execute a pinky break. If not, I will leave the link up here. The second thing you need to know is a overhand shuffle, okay? You gotta use an overhand shuffle. Again, if you have no idea what that is, go back and refer to this video before jumping back into this, all right? So, I've prepared the cards this way so that you can have a clearer picture of what, uh, what is going on. I have arranged Ace, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of hearts. So this will be the row that they are selected, okay? Say for example, they select the same card, the 6 of hearts in this case, all right? What you need to do is this, you need to square all the cards, okay? After you ask them which row is it in, they will tell you it's the middle row. Pick up whatever row that is not their selected cards, put here. The rest of the cards goes on top. Now bear in mind, these are 7 possible cards that they could be thinking of. You being the magician, you have no idea which one they are thinking of yet. Okay, so these seven cards will go on top, in the middle. The last packet will go on top, but you need to hold a pinky break. Okay, you need to hold a pinky break. Now, <clears throat> what will happen is this. As you say something like that, when you see your card, will you remember it? As you ask them a question, you will execute these few moves. You will cut the cards at the break, okay? And execute an overhand shuffle. Just four single cards. One, two, three, and four. Put the rest of the cards on top and you're done. All right, I'll do it again. Let me just reset the cards here. Okay. So the possible seven cards, the ace to seven of hearts, right? They're all here, like this. No break, only when the last packet goes on top, you hold a break, okay? And in performance mode, this is how it look like. After you put the cards here, you square the cards and say, now when you see your card again, will you remember it? You will, right? Good. And it's done, right? You have successfully shuffled four cards to the bottom, retaining three cards on top. What does this mean is that you have just separated the seven possible cards, okay? You separate them into three on top and four on the bottom, all right? Think about it, three on top, four at the bottom, all right? And this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna do it only once. You're gonna deal the cards one by one like this, the same way, Second row, third row. As you come to the fourth row, you casually just ask, just yes or no, has your card appeared? In our case, it's the six of hearts, so the card has appeared and they will say yes. So you know for a fact, it's either this one, this one or this one. All you need to know is which row is it in, okay? So continue dealing. And hold the last card in your hand, okay? If, for example, their selected card wasn't the six of hearts, say it was the two of hearts, okay? After you deal like the fourth row and then you ask, has your card appeared? They will say no. Good. Continue dealing because you know it's either this one, this one or this one. That simple, okay? And if you get lucky sometimes, you will end up with the last card. And that is a miracle. I'll tell you why. Because the same thing, after you deal, 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 you ask, is it, you use this card as a card to point. Has your card appeared? Is it in this row, this row, or this row? One, two, or three? And they'll say, no, it's none of these. And you say, I know. And that's why you held on to the card. It will make it even more amazing, okay? You will make it, of course, we wish for it to um, happen every single time, but Sometimes, you know, you just have to be lucky and, and all that to, to, to get this opportunity. Bear in mind, it will happen one in seven chances. Hmm? <laughs> so if you perform it more times, the more chances you'll get to um, experience this, okay? This last one will be something that will give you some sort of magical powers, right? The, the people will look at you and go, wow, this is actually amazing, right? <laughs> But don't worry, say for example, their selected card is a two of hearts, right? So you say, is it uh, the first row, second row or third row? You'll say it's the second row, good. So you already know what card they selected. You can just gather the cards up like that, put them in any which way you like, doesn't matter. And then you can hand the cards over to them and let them shuffle the cards so they know it's fair. 
the cards were being shuffled, dealt out, and they were just thinking of it. That's all. And all you have to do now is just spread through the cards, remove the two of hearts and go, okay, what was your card that you were just thinking of? They'll say it's the two of hearts, reveal it, and there you go. <laughs> so I hope you like this uh, little 21 card trick. It is a pro version. I remember the very first time I saw it, I was so amazed by it. Uh, the first time I saw it was actually performed by a magician in Singapore. His name is Solomon. He was a magic demonstrator in a magic shop that I frequent and you know, in the end I worked there as well. But he was the very first one that showed me this uh, version of the 21 card trick and I was blown away. There was, no, there was no way he knew what card I was thinking of. So use this card trick wisely, practice it hard, practice it on yourself, okay, so that you know what to say. Practice it on different locations of the card. Sometimes use the first one, use the last one, somewhere in between, so that you'll get used to whatever card and whatever scenario we end up with, all right? Thank you so much for watching. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.